22-year-old reserve officer Alexander was mobilized in St. Petersburg in October 2022. He worked in production and used to serve in the army more than 20 years ago. In March, he received a shrapnel wound in the war against Ukraine. He spent a month and a half in the hospital. One fragment in the chest was left. The doctor decided that it would be more dangerous to remove it. And in this state, he is thrown back to the front line. The military medical commission recognized Alexander suitable again. I'm shocked. Back in the hospital, doctors were even afraid to massage my husband as a part of rehabilitation, possibly deterioration. There, a lot of prohibitions were announced for this later life. Didn't lift more than 5 kilograms, didn't drink this, didn't go there. And still, they sent him to the combat zone. What is that? Is there nobody else to fight? Is it the turn of a disabled to go to the front? We're already sending old people and children there. Yekaterina, wife of a Russian officer from the article Sever Reali. Now the wife of the occupied soldier is preparing documents for the court in order to obtain a deferment from mobilization, but she fears that while the case is being considered, her husband may get killed. I looked at similar cases. Some have been in court for six months. They're stalling. A person gets killed. They can close the case. The outcome is also not encouraging. So far, I have not found a single one with a decision in favor of a person liable for military service and not a hospital. Of the 60 cases that I found, only one case had a positive outcome. Ekaterina, wife of a Russian officer from the article Sever Reali. According to Sever Reali, the military in Russia who file claims that they cannot take part in the war because of wounds can't defend their rights. Courts rule against them. The Russian army is in dire need of soldiers, analysts say. In just one day, half a battalion gets killed near Bakhmut. Therefore, they require urgent compensation. A new set of people is urgently needed. Again, at whose expense to take them? Now the Wagner PMC is dropping out of the war, which is very good for us. Representatives of European intelligence believe that Russia is preparing to send more Chechen soldiers and convicts to Ukraine instead of the Wagner PMC mercenaries who led the battlefield. There is a problem with the human resource. No matter how they poof up in the Russian Federation, like everything is fine, we have a mobilization resource, 25 million people, but they already collect, hack night and the sick in the Moscow to fight. In Moscow, they are going to send builders to the front line. According to the Verstka publication, there are at least two construction companies that are instructed to fund several dozen volunteers in their structure, with whom a contract for military service will be signed in the future, after which they will go to fight in Ukraine. The source said that an instruction came from the major's office to provide at least 30 volunteers by the end of August. It claims that the same tasks have been set for most construction companies in the capital. Before every village had to put up their recruits, now every corporation, according to the publication Verska on Telegram. In Russia, diplomas are issued to graduates only together with summonses to the army. Conscientious objectors are threatened with prison. This is written by the local edition of Fartanga. If the graduate refuses to sign the agenda, an act is immediately drawn up together with attesting witnesses. For the first refusal, administrative liability and a fine of up to 3,000 rubles are provided. Reported by Diana Kulesnik, Victoria Smirnova, UATV News.